um, stop all this good fellowship. It's fun. It's just kind of fun standing up here watching everybody smile and laugh and food in their hand, talking, catching up. One of my favorite parts of Wednesday night is so you know to see all of you. It's just always always so nice, not only gathering around the word, but also just the fellowship, the camaraderie that's created. And so anyway, it's good to see all of you. As we get started, a couple of things I want to mention, and then we'll talk about prayer requests. Um, Number one is to mention, if any of you are available or able, we, next week we will have the uh, sign-up sheet for the month of April, the dinners that we did tonight. By the way, Darla and Stan, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cheryl, thank you for the desserts and all that. Yeah. Very, very much appreciate it. <laughs> Steve reminded me earlier that, that that list of people bringing food is a pretty doggone important list. So we'll have a list out there next week for, for April because we, we've only got March kind of going out there. So anyway, that'll be out there. The other thing is, if there are a handful of you, more the more the merrier. If some of you could hang out after we get finished here for 15 to 30 minutes to help us move some stuff. It would be, many hands would make a lot of work and we could really get something that needs to get done, done real quick. So we got dollies and the whole deal, but uh, some manpower, women, woman power would be great. So, and we'll try to do that just right after we finish and uh, try to make a quick work. We'll, we'll honor everybody's time because otherwise it's a week night. As far as prayer requests go. Wait. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bella Roma is this coming Saturday night. And do they need to, I know, I know there's a sign up online, but do they need to try to let you know anything? We're shooting at least to have 20 so yeah. that we get the room, the second room, right? Well, here's the deal. Um, you'd have had to pay a deposit, non refundable just deposit for the room. Okay. But they said they'll see this in a certain area, and if the room has not been booked for a private party, they will put us into that room so okay. that we'll have the room to ourselves. And if we could find out like a ballpark number of how many people are coming, it'd be nice to be able to tell them. Yes. And I have no idea because you can't tell from church planner. How, well, so far, just me and you. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of signs. As far as the in this just room. Four so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, as far as in this room, how many of you, and I guess it kind of feels like I'm putting you on the spot, I don't mean to, if you're planning to go, uh, it's in Rome at the Bella Roma there by the ball park, if you're going to try to be there Saturday, go ahead and throw your hand in there, that'll give us some idea. Okay. Are you seeing me? So that's, and obviously there's a lot that aren't in the room, but yeah, so you got a semi number, throw a deck in there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that gives us some idea. It's going to be a great time, always a great time of fellowship. We, we do it all over. We do it in Chattanooga. We get places here in Carnival, so it'd be cool to kind of slide over to Rome there. So, yeah, we have look. a good, good turnout in Chattanooga. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So looking forward to that. That's this coming Saturday at 530. 530. 530. Mm -hmm. Also, while I'm throwing out announcements, we are the Love Project this coming Saturday. We're going to split our manpower. There's going to be a couple that are working on the love project up at Miss Helen Shipley's in, in five Saturday. And then there's going to be a group of us that are going to be here shoveling another uh, pile of mulch. We've got another truckload to move. So uh, we're going to have some extra gorilla carts and shovels and all that stuff. So more, the more the merrier. I know last week uh, there were a lot of conflicts and schedule and things like that. But if you can help us, it would be great. I think we're starting at eight here. And I think they're starting at nine up there. So Chris Harris will be the one to reach out as far as the coordinating side of the construction part of that. Anybody wants to shovel, you just be here at 8 o'clock with a pair of gloves and we will put you to work. Do you, you have work. a way to move it around to wherever it needs to be? Or well, we're... Is we, it in one place? It, it is. It's back there. We've got a gorilla, gorilla carts that we've been scooping and doping and that kind of thing. We're not against... We're not against anybody that had a tractor and brought it up and wanted to scoot and move. We're not against that. We just have not coordinated. Uh, skid steers, like okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly, it honestly, it, we had five people this last Saturday. Saturday. It worked pretty good. I mean, we had several carts go and load in the back of uh, Fletch's truck. It went pretty good. So. 20 yards. Yeah, 20 yards. Yeah, 20 back there now. I don't think we use it all. But uh, save the 12. We'll, we'll knock off at 12. There's a shower going to be here as well. So, yeah. if you got a blower, what time is that? 8 to 12. Yeah. 8 here and then 9. Love nine right. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. We'll probably be 2 or 3 up there. We have 10. What about prayer report? Well, I think that was all the right. Yeah. 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 Prayer report. Yeah. 
Pam had a cousin who passed away, so just remember that family. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, continue to remember Mamma and Weldon and Margaret and Don and the whole yeah, family. They're really <clears throat> exhausted. I have a cousin named Desiree. Yeah. Don't know why weak speech is slurred. They went and visited and just kind of couldn't find a thing. Yeah, she's young. Yeah. Anyway, that's right. Nothing about Kim Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What do you mean prayers for our friend Matthew? Obviously, that that happened. Yeah. 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 Also, remember Scott's brother Bobby and his wife Elizabeth were just really holding them up in prayer. Uh, my son in law, William, he's got pneumonia. Not been through this. Is he in the hospital or is he at home? No, he's home, but Julie took him up some homemade chicken noodle soup Monday. That'll be something. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure, yeah. What's your wellness from that? Where are you? Yeah. Do you see a walker? I don't see a walker. That's a good one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had to use it all day, and I've been that's walking good. all day. Great, that's good. I'm hoping it just keeps it up. I'll tell you what that next bottle shows. I think we'll get it tonight after we get it. Yeah. Yeah. We can get it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, not sure. I've never heard anything. Mm -hmm. no, Melody's friend is up and walking and talking. Yay. She's not been dismissed from the hospital okay. yet, but she is on her way. That's she had Chick Fil A and went out and played with her two sisters in the little garden area that's good. this week. So that's, good. that's a god thing. That's wonderful. Other, yeah. yeah. Uh, my uncle's mother-in-law ended up passing away. Um, so just be in prayer for his wife, because um, that was her. Her dad had already passed away, and she's an only child, so mm -hmm. she just doesn't doesn't really have anybody yeah. in her family anymore. Um, but praise is my great aunt is doing well. Um, Mama talked to her I think on Monday, and her colonoscopy seemed to go okay there. They went and tested off like a polyp to make sure it's not anything yeah. super serious, but okay. they hadn't heard anything else back about that, but okay. she sounded a lot stronger when we were not talked to her. Okay. Um, and I have her praise. As you know, Floyd's been going through this ordeal with his heart and stuff, and uh, the medicine to keep it at bay is stupid expensive. Yeah. He went to get it yesterday and it was half price. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my mother, she went Monday to have her stuff done, and they took her to her chemo because her levels were in the toilet. So they sent her to do injections <laughs> for bring up her white blood cells, okay. and then they sent her to her platelets. And tomorrow, either she's going to go and find out if it's back up. We don't know what kind of chemo they're going to try to give her. They don't want to give her the harsh stuff. Right. Yeah. But if they don't give her something, it's just, yeah. we got to do something, but we just don't know what it's going to be. And that's tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to say that. Call me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Come back with a praise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't tell you that. Yeah. 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 Then suddenly. Then suddenly. Yeah. Well, let's, let's pray together. Father, I thank you so much tonight, Lord, as we gather in your name. What a joy it is to be with our brothers and sisters. And to know that we are right here in the middle of your presence, Lord, that you're hovering and brooding and, and you're speaking over us and singing over us. And Lord, I just thank you and praise you for that. So many of the praises and the, the, the praise reports that have been given tonight, Lord, God, we just give you glory for those things. We thank you for the way that you've moved and you've worked and are working in the bodies and lives and families of so many different folk. Lord, we're thankful for those moments when you give us half price off the medicines that we were expecting to pay twice as much for. Lord, we're thankful for this beautiful little girl, Lord, that's now up and moving about and 
in the process of her health being restored. And Lord, we're just believing for absolute and complete restoration and healing in her body and the strength you're giving to her family. For those that have lost loved ones and who are in the heavy throes of grief, that God, you will just give grace and mercy and comfort to their hearts. And Lord, that you will just remind them that, that right in the middle of it, Lord, you're with them. God, there have been so many names that have been mentioned tonight and needs. Lord, we just pray for William. God, you yes. see the things that he has gone through and God, this difficult season. And Lord, now this physical need. God, I just pray that you would bring healing to his body, clear his lungs out. Yes. And God, that as you do it, it would be so obvious to him that you did this for yes. him. And God, that that would be an encouragement and a help to him. And Lord, just a, a reminder, Lord, that even at moments when he feels the most alone, that Lord, he's not alone. He got folk that's standing around him, loving on him, praying for him, that are there for him. But most of all, Lord, your Holy Spirit, your comfort is available to him and, and is there for him. And Lord, I just thank you, God, tonight for, for the way that you're moving and working in this fellowship, but not just in this fellowship, but Lord, the way you're moving and working abroad. Lord, we hear so many testimony and not only revivals and, and people's hearts that are being stirred, but Lord, there's just a, an awareness that's being created, God, in people to recognize their need. And at the moment we're seeing that, Lord, there's so many other crazy things that are going on in the world. And Lord, I just pray that you would help each of us as, as your people to be salt and light. Lord, we, we truly ask your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Lord, that we would daily lean upon you and trust and have confidence, Lord, that you've got today under control, and Lord, you'll have tomorrow under control, and the day after that. Yes. At every place that we're anxious and worried and we're just being tested to be afraid, God, I pray that you would remind us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And Lord, I just thank you and praise you for that. I thank you, Lord, that in Bogota with, with uh, Bob and Bob with uh, Elizabeth and Bobby, that Lord, you're moving and you're working. And God, you're just, you're right there with them on the other side of the world. And God, we just right now lift them up. And we just pray, God, that they would sense your presence as never before. God, that you would just open and close doors and move and work supernaturally. God, we cannot wait to see how you're going to work this situation out. But Lord, we're trusting and believing that you are going to and that you are in the process right now, moving in ways we can't even see. And as we gather tonight around your table, as we gather around your living word, I pray, God, that our hearts would be challenged and we'd be strengthened. Pray that, Lord, all the things that have enamored us and caught our attention, that we'd lay those things to the side. And we would determine to press forward, to persevere, to follow your direction everywhere you lead us. God, I just thank you and praise you for that and for what you're doing and will do tonight. Lord, I pray specifically tonight for Weldon and Margaret, yes. for Don and Pat, for the whole family, for, his, for Mama. Lord, God, you know she is right in the palm of your hand. And Lord, you see, God, this precious family that is their hearts are heavy and they're broken as they watch her. And I, I just pray, God, that you would give strength, supernatural strength, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, Lord. Just come alongside them. Give them the strength that is necessary and needed, God, to be the caregivers and to do the things that they're, they're doing, Father. We pray for Desiree. Whatever's going on in her body, Lord, we just ask you, God, to speak healing and life over her. And God, as a result of that, that her connection with you, relationship and awareness of you, Lord, would even be greater than it's ever been before. Or we hold up. Uh, Brother Gene, and just we just pray, God, that you would just manifest your presence and power in a tremendous and powerful way, God. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for us, and Lord, the love we read about, but also even more so, Lord, the love we experience in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Uh, one of the things that had kind of been my goal going into uh, March and on the group is only tonight do you never know for you never to know what to expect. <laughs> and in the spirit of that, uh, we, we're going to just kind of be doing some different things. We are in our study in First and Second Thessalonians, but there's just some other things we're going to do. Several weeks ago when Doug blessed us with the, the music that he did, I thought it was just great having live music and just being able to kind of worship on Wednesday night. So I asked Terry if he would come tonight and just kind of share, and we're just going to kind of spend a few minutes. And if you're like me, most of us just need to exhale and just kind of just like... Now, don't do that too much or you'll be snoring. <laughs> don't stop too much. But I want to encourage you. You know, 
He is, God is our Sabbath rest. Jesus is our Sabbath rest. And so, so lean on Him tonight. You may be physically tired, emotionally tired, spiritually tired. Just lean on Him. And as He finishes that, one of the other things I wanted to do tonight was for us to share communion. Sunday morning, uh, in, in the book of Acts, we were talking about the fact that it talked about them breaking bread. And some of those instances of breaking bread was just what we did a moment ago. Eating some good old lasagna and, and you know, that kind of stuff. But the other breaking of bread was truly doing in remembrance the things Jesus said every time you do this. Remember what I've done for you. And so I want us to, to receive communion tonight. And we may periodically on Wednesday nights do that. But just as a reminder. So I want to encourage you as, as uh, Terry comes and kind of shares with us and we just kind of worship together. Kind of just turn your heart and mind that way. Scripture's pretty clear that we're invited to the table of the Lord. But it does say that we're supposed to examine ourselves. We're supposed to look and see. You know, where there are things in our our lives that need to sort of be laid aside. There's, there's not a better place for some stuff to get fixed and moved and worked about in our lives than at the table of the Lord. So we're going to do that, and then we'll head toward 1 Thessalonians. Can you go ahead and come on? I sure appreciate you getting ready. Psalms the Lord laid on my heart, and I hope you enjoy them. And uh, just the words that's in it just means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely? Long forever's home. Jesus is my portion. My constant friend is he. His eyes on the sparrow. And I know he's watching me. So why should I feel? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely? Long forever's on. But Jesus is my portion. My constant friend to see. My eyes on the sparrow.
perfect time. My favorite girl. Talk about time. Is it something we said? Come on. 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 Come on one of the most specialist people and she was the first person to give me a hug and that was her favorite song and every time I, I actually did her funeral and stuff and it was just a graveside because of COVID and it was raining and everything but I made sure I had that song on my phone to play it at her service um, and I, I appreciate that yes sir I love that song. Love. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good song. I mean, it really is. Yeah, it is. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It means a lot. It does. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, let me stand, I'm tired, I'm weak, and I'm warm, through the storm, go through the night, lead me on to the light, take my hand, precious Lord. On. I went my way, grows dear, precious Lord, linger near, when my life is almost gone, hear my cry, oh hear my call, hold my hand. Take my hand, precious Lord, don't lead me home. When the darkness appears and the night draws near and the day is past and gone, at the river I will stand. Lord, and lead me home. Oh, precious Lord, take my hand, oh, lead me home. Let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, and I am warm. Through the storm, oh, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, press the Lord, and lead me on. Take my hand, press the Lord, and lead me on. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. All right. I love the Lord. I do. I love Jesus more than anything in this world. Amen. I just constantly pray, just God, just walk with me every day. Just walk with me. Put me where I need to be. Whatever you have me to do, put the people in my life. Just have me to do your will, Lord. I just, just want to do God's will. That's all I want to do to please the Lord. I pray to God every day, all day long. I say this all the time. But one of the most important things I believe is first, you know, making your heart right with Jesus, being saved, is having that relationship with God. Yeah. And 
habits, he's just staying in touch with him all day, just talking to him, you know. And I, that's how I get by. Author of the world, walk with me. Ruler of the earth, walk with me. Calmer of the storm, walk with me.
was thinking about the fact as we as we get ready to take the elements. I was thinking about the fact that even though Jesus over and over had hinted to his disciples of what was about to happen, that when they sat in that room that night and he broke the bread and he offered them the wine, that they had no idea the full impact of that. There was a sense in which it was the calm before the storm. Now, I know it wasn't calm because they had watched the thousands as they cried, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. They see all this stuff. And then they see God's hand at work, literally, where He says to the disciples, go in, and you're going to find this, follow this person to that house, and there, they're going to already have it prepared and ready for you, so you're going to know that I went ahead of you. And then they arrive in this moment, and Jesus is talking about things like, I'm going away, one of you is going to betray me, and there's this heaviness, if you will, that sort of settles in, maybe, over the room. And here's the thing about it. The really up, the, the real big upheaval stuff is still in front of them. I mean, they're still yet to, to, to turn away, you know, to, to turn away. They're still yet to watch him crucified. They're still yet to experience all of that and have their world upside down. But like we've been studying on Sunday morning, they're also yet to experience Acts chapter 2 and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and then being sent, you know, to Judea and Samaria and the other parts of the world. My point is this. The thought just dawned on me that there's a million things that happen when we sit at the table of the Lord. And for every person, when you are at the table of the Lord, taking communion, breaking bread, there's a million different things He can do all at the same time. But I just really feel a need tonight, and I, I don't think it's just one person. I think it's maybe a bunch of us, and maybe it's just me, who really, 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 the words of that song kind of say it all. Walk yep. with me, Jesus. I'm leaning in you. I'm trusting in you. Lord, I'm tired. I'm, I'm weary. My flesh is weary, but Lord, would you renew my strength? And I just kind of hear the Spirit tonight saying, I'm going to renew your strength. I'm going to renew. You may physically on the outward, though the outward man perish, the inward man is renewed yes. Yes. over and over and over by the power of the Spirit. When we gather at the table of the Lord, His presence, His power moving and working right here in the middle of us. And so I just want to say to you, He's here to refresh you, to renew you. He's here Amen. to move some obstacles out of the way that have kind of been in the way. Amen. When you break bread and you are at the table of the Lord, He is more than willing, as you remember what He's already done for you, to bring His strength to bear oppression in your life. Father, you said that as we sat at your table that we were invited. We've been, we've been invited to your table by you. And Father, I'm so thankful that so oftentimes we sit at the table and we look around and we wonder about the invitations of others and we overlook the fact that we are the least worthy to be seated at the table and yet we've been invited equally as they have. And so, Lord, tonight I'm thankful for the all-encompassing way in which you invite us to your table. You invite us to come broken and wounded and hurt. You invite us to come as we are. But, Lord, we never leave your table the same way as we came. That's right. And so tonight, God, I, I believe there are many of us in this room who are just weary and tired. And it's not even just the physical, but it's just a weariness and heaviness. And, Lord, there are so many folks in this room and in our church family who are serving and are working and are in the midst of seasons that feel like they're never going to end. And Lord, they're just asking day by day, Lord, for grace and strength. And quite honestly, day after day, they're just putting one foot in front of the other, Lord, and You're giving grace, grace for the journey, grace for the day. But Lord, in this place tonight, as we gather around Your table and we remember what You've done for us, Thank You, Lord. Overtake us in this room right now, Father. Holy Spirit, we make place and room in this, in this place, yes. in our lives, Lord, for You just to move and for You to work. And God, this is what I'm asking, that the deep-seated heavinesses that are gripping folk in this room or those that are listening, 
God, I pray right now that it may be lifted off of them. I pray, God, that the tiredness that they've been experiencing in their mind and the tiredness that feels like it's weighing on their heart, Lord, and maybe it's just a sense of responsibility and all the other things that are kind of crowding in, that, Lord, right now you would just bring refreshing and renewal and strength. It doesn't have to be a month later or six months later, Lord. It can be in this very moment that you lift off some heavy stuff. And so I'm asking you, Father, in the name of Jesus, lift off the heavy stuff. It's too great for us to carry. And Lord, we've been, many of us, trying to carry it out of a sense of obligation or out of a sense of what would others think if we admitted the degree to which we are tired and weary. But Lord, in this place, we recognize that there's no judgment at your table, that there are no accusers at your table. You don't allow it. And Father, in this place, You're speaking of life and health and healing and wholeness and restoration and reconciliation. You're speaking, Lord, that that only You can do. So Father, I thank You right now that as we remember what You've done for us, we know that what You have done, You can do and You will continue to do in our yes, lives. Yes, God, the enemy speaks and talks to us all the time, trying to remind us of the ways in which we miss the mark. And God, sometimes we listen more than we ought. And we allow guilt and condemnation and all this stuff to just overtake us. But Lord, at this table, Your table tonight, Lord, would You forgive us of our, our sins? Would You forgive us of our failures? Would You forgive us of the ways that we miss the mark and we fall short? God, it's not guilt and condemnation that You bring. It is the conviction of Your Spirit, Lord, that You offer to us that we can have clarity to recognize our need. And then, Lord, You move in on the scene and You wash us by Your mighty blood. You cleanse us of the things, Lord, that, that have stained us. You cleanse us of those things that continue to wreak havoc in our lives. Come, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, and they shall be made as wool. And it's at, at your table, Lord, that we're washed, that we're cleansed, that we're made whole. So God, the thing in this room tonight, the thing in our lives that we've had trouble laying down and letting go of, it just seems to keep having power over us. God, may this be the very moment, the very place at the table, Lord, that that thing is broken off of us. Yes. And that we are free, maybe for the first time in a long, long time in our lives, we are free indeed because we believe that the blood of the new covenant washes us. Your blood shed cleanses us. That your body broken brings healing and restoration to us. God, we thank you right now that we are not strangers and afar off. We are sons and daughters. Lord, your love and your patience and your mercy and your compassion toward us is never failing. God, in this place today, Lord, tonight, we, we're not going to run from it, Lord. We're going to turn and be overtaken by you, the very one that's pursuing us. God, there is especially mental fatigue. And I pray right now, Lord, that you would lift and bring clarity where there has been such mental fatigue, Lord, that there's almost an inability to function. I pray, Lord, that you would just break that, lift that, move that, like a fog that just sort of dissolves and moves out of the way. That, Lord, you would just breathe a breath right now of your Holy Spirit and it would just be pushed out of the way. I thank you and praise you, Father. God, I pray that you would move the obstacles in our lives. Father, in Jesus' name, on the night He was betrayed, as He spoke to them of all these many things, He said, as often as you do this, remember me. Recognize what I've done for you. This is my body, broken for you. Take the bread now. Father, we thank You that You bore upon Yourself, Jesus, You bore the sin of the world. Your brokenness leads to us being able to be whole and made well. Thank you. God, we thank you right now. Thank you. Take the drink in your hand. The blood of the new covenant, the blood that washes and that cleans, yes. cleanses us, that makes us right in the sight of God, that washes our heart, our attitudes, our motivations, that continually beckons us to walk in this wholeness that we've been given. God, the wholeness that You're giving us at this table tonight, we're not going to leave it here in this room. Thank you, we're not going to leave it sitting here. We're going to walk out of this place different than when we came in. Take the drink now and be reminded of His blood shed for you. Father, I thank You. Now let's just take a moment. Thank You. Father, a million and one times You've come through in a variety of ways. 
There's not enough words that we can put together. Enough praise that we can There's not enough words that we can utter with our mouths. But Lord, when we try, when we open our mouths and we start just declaring your glory and your greatness and what you've done in our lives, it puts the enemy of our soul to flight. But it also does something else, Father. It brings your power and your presence and your ability to hover and move and move and work and do the next thing in our lives. It makes us available for those things. So Lord, I thank you right now. I thank you for walls that have been knocked down. I thank you, God, for transgressions that have been forgiven and washed away. I thank you, God, for old habits that don't have a place to reside here anymore. Because they've been put behind. Lord, they've been put under your blood. We've been washed and made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we speak against the spirit of oppression tonight. Yes. The spirit that just yes. weighs on somebody's in this room so heavy that it literally feels like they can't take their next breath. Yes. And God, they're freed in this very In this very moment, they are freed from that. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we declare it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, the things that we have not even been able to formulate in our minds, Lord, we by faith, the substance of things hoped for, yes, the evidence yes, of things yes. not yet seen or touched, tangible with our hands. Lord, we believe, God, that You are moving and working. You are doing extraordinary things, God. Only give us eyes to see. Yes. But Lord, before we ever see it, give us a heart to thank You for it. Yes. Give us a heart of gratitude and appreciation. Let us remember, Lord, where You brought us from, where You've got us, Lord, and that You are not done with us yet. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You're the one that keeps us in the palm of your hand. And God, the things that have come our way have been Father filtered. They've been Father filtered, Lord, because as we lean and trust on you, God, your grace is enough to bring us through it. It's enough to bring us through the troubled waters. It's enough to bring us through the dry valleys. It's enough to bring us through the deserts where there doesn't seem to be a well because literally beneath us, Lord, we are anchoring ourselves in You. Yes. Father, I thank You and praise You tonight for the freedom and the liberty. The things You're doing in this fellowship and the way that You're working and moving. Holy Spirit, fill this place up. But more even than filling this room, fill each of us yes. up. Let us be yes. a habitation, a yes. place of your dwelling. God, I pray even as we've been talking about for a couple of weeks about being a conduit of your power and your presence to flow through. Lord, you told the disciples not to leave till they were filled. And you say the same thing to us. That we are incapable of fulfilling and doing the thing you've got for us until we have been filled to overflowing with the power of your son. So in this room tonight, give us a fresh filling. If we've been filled in the past, then refill us afresh and anew. Let it be like rivers of living water flowing up out of us, Father. I pray that the joy of our salvation given by You, Lord, would begin to erupt in this place. And this will be the sign of it for at least a couple in this place that where we haven't been able to laugh or smile in a long time, we're going to be able to laugh freely. Yes, it's going yes, to come out yes. of deep places inside of us just because the heaviness has been shattered inside. Even if our situation doesn't change, if the circumstance doesn't immediately turn around, if it doesn't immediately just somehow seem to be fixed, Lord, there's going to be a joy, a wellspring of peace that's going to just flow up out of us. And Lord, we're going to know that that's Your gift to us. And we're going to smile when it happens. And we're going to lift our hands and our voices. And we're going to pray you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you've been asking for Him to fill you, then listen, all you need to do is lift your hands and just say yes now. In the name of Jesus right now. Lord, just feel and refill. Baptize afresh and anew. Each and every person in this, in this room tonight. God, baptize us afresh and anew with the power of Your Spirit. There appeared to be cloven tongues as a fire. At the sound of a rushing mighty wind. As of a rushing mighty wind. Numa, breath, life. 
Lord, let that breath and that life just be breathed over us and in this place. And not just filling up the space, Lord, but permeating every part of us. The stuff we're having a hard time letting go of, the grudges that we're hanging on to, the grief that we're continuing to walk in. God, I pray right now, Father, let it just bring freedom and life to us. Holy Spirit, come, move, work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. I thank you that we've been invited to your table. Hallelujah. God, I am thankful that my past doesn't disqualify me, that my mistakes don't disqualify me. Thank you. God, give us a heart to pursue you, to love you, to walk after you. Give us a heart, Lord, to give everything we've got. Father, let us fall more in love with you than we are with the world. Let us be in more love with you than we are with all the pretty glittery things of the world. And everything that has twisted and, and created havoc and continues to wreak chaos. Oh, God, we speak against those things. God, we speak life. We speak clarity. God, we speak, God, that as we stand at the crossroad of decision, that we turn and have insight and discernment and wisdom from You and that we walk in the path. This is the way of the Lord. Walk therein. Yes. And Lord, that we have the courage to walk in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, I thank you for the place that you have created. There is a level of peace and safety, but there is also a level in which you will disrupt in order to bring the peace and calm on the yes. other side. Yes. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Your power is more than enough in this space and in this place, God, to do whatever is needed to be done. Yes. God, I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus right now, God, as clearly as I know how to respond in obedience to your prompting, I pray, Father, right now for Emma and Michael. Mm -hmm. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus for the liberty and the freedom that comes, God. When we lean into you, when we trust, God, your promises for us. And I thank you, Lord, that 
They are your sons and daughters. Yes. God, they're yours. Yes. So I pray right now, Father, anything and everything that has been dogging after them, that has been chasing them, that Lord, they felt just heavy-hearted about. I pray, God, in this place right now that you would bring absolute freedom. That you would bring freedom. Lord, that you would set right things yes, that have yes, That you would make a space and a place, God. That you would fill up to overflowing. You would fill them up. And you would move and work in their lives. God, you show up in a moment like this and you do things, God, yes. that then you ask us to walk with it. Yes. And to leave this place and to continue to allow you to do the work. And so, Father, that's what I pray tonight. I pray in Michael and Emma's life. Yes. God, what you are initiating in a whole lot of our lives yes. in this place tonight, we would leave this yes. place yes. determined yes. to allow you to let that seed grow. Yes. Lord, let it be watered and refreshed. And Father, yes. that the fruit you long to bring to pass, God, that it will be grown in our lives. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. You know, God, the need in my life that I ask the Father right now touch it. As He has experienced yes. Your presence and power many times in the past, God, in this very moment, I pray, God, You lift this heavy thing that's been on the yes. Lord. I pray that You lift it, God, in His heart, in His mind, You set Him free, God. And God, He's going to know that that freedom is a gift that's been given by You. Yes, Father. Father, I thank You and praise You. Yes, so 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 I speak against every resistance, yes. everything that tries to raise itself against the authority of Christ yes. Yes. and the freedom that is available in Him. Yes. Father, every lie, yes. every attitude, Everything that would vaunt itself against you that is anti-Christ. Yes. Yes. Father, we speak against that right now. That freedom may come to those who so desperately desire and need it. Yes. 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 Father, you said there'd be times we wouldn't even know what to say. Your spirit would just pray through us with groanings that were unintelligible to us, but were understood, were known by you. God, I thank you and praise you in this place right now, God, for your work, for your brooding, for your hovering. You didn't show up for just a few moments as a token visit. I said, you didn't show up tonight as just a token visitation to say I was there. You showed up and you brewed and you hovered. And you say, I can do more and will am willing to do more than you have even given me space or place yes. to do. Expand the territory. Expand the place and the space that you're allowing me to move and work in. And watch what I'll do. God, the signs and wonders that you said would follow those that believe. Father, let us be that kind of believer. Let us be that kind of folk that trust and believe and expect to see you move and work and do those things that only you can do, God. God, I pray tonight, whatever it is you're up to in this room, that this would be a part of it. Maybe it's step one, but it's just a part of it. Moving and working and making some space in our hearts and minds for us to begin to receive and believe in a capacity that we have not in the past. God, I pray that you would help us, Lord, to throw our arms open wide and every opportunity we have to love you back. But also to throw our arms open wide and love those to whom you're going to send from the east and the west and the north and the south. The folk that you're going to bring into this building and this place, not because the place is something special, but because of your presence and power that resides and hovers and moves and broods and the people of God that gather. Lord, that you're going to move and you're going to work in extraordinary ways. So Lord, let us begin to see those Acts chapter 3 moments where we recognize the limitations of ourselves, but Lord, we speak beyond ourselves. We speak of things that are heaven given. Yes. Silver and gold I don't have, but what I do have I give in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. And immediately yes. lame yes. ankles and legs begin to become strengthened and they yes. begin to stand up and walk. Yes. 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 
God, I pray that you would let those kinds of signs and wonders begin to happen in our midst. Yes. God, I pray that you would let us be the kind of people that are believing and are trusting and are yes. confident of and expected of those kind of things. You said you want those to follow you, those that believe. So Lord, give us that kind of belief. Help us to trust the way we need to trust. It doesn't take a whole big amount of faith. We just got to put it in the right space and place in the right direction and trust you, God. God, we just got to make space and room. And Lord, I praise you and thank you that you're doing that right now. God, I thank you that you're doing that right now in the name of Jesus. God, we take authority over the spirit of deception. Yes, we do. Ah, le candoro bo sondare di si che dalla sondare di andare a basso. Lord, we take authority over the spirit of deception, the thing that blinds people's eyes and gives them the inability to see and recognize and have clarity. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord, we war for those that are in war right now. Lord, we war alongside them. Lord, we war right now for Miss Helen. God, we speak over her. Lord, we speak, God, that your presence and power, God, sustaining grace for her. We pray, Lord, God, today over Ron and Crystal, we speak, we speak, God, peace and health and wellness and wholeness over them. And the ability, their ability to be back in this place soon. Lord, we thank you and praise you, God, tonight. God, we just thank you and praise you. God, we are aware that in this place, God, you have made the ground holy. You have made the space holy. You have made this moment of time holy. God, it's holy because we're standing before you. Yes. Case <laughs> Let it begin tonight. Let it begin tonight. Father, let it begin tonight. Let it begin now. I wonder when Jesus said that, every time you take this, remember me. Because I don't care how long you walk on this earth, you need a rewind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's where it started. Yeah. You and him. And I think with communion, he's making sure yeah. that no matter how much space, no matter what events, no matter, yeah. Yeah. you can come back to where it starts. Yeah. And then all that violence don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. But it's, it's also, yeah. go ahead, man. It's also where it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's some people I know, Lord. Yeah. Not my daughter, Lord. 
treat them with nip for Jesus. Yeah. Just her and Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Lord help Stacy remember just her and Jesus. Yes. Just her and Jesus. Yeah. Help my son. Help Evan remember it's just him and Jesus. Yes. Yes. The river that possessed the Lord. Yes. 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 I got some miles over and then there's some hurting folk. Help them come to the place, oh God, yes. just to remember you and them. Yes. 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 And then I take to the elements. But do that for them. Yes. 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 Do that for them. Yes. Yes. There's where peace is. There's where yes, new Lord. starts are. Yes, Lord. There's where freedom and healing is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And do this Hallelujah. for them. Yes, Even right. tonight. Tony yes, Bordeaux yes, and the Bordeaux yes, family just yes, help them remember you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Everybody in here, you know somebody. Yes. Just remember them. Yes. Just call her name. Yes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Just you and them. Just you and them. Thank you, Lord. Let them be enamored again. Yes, Thank you. We do not get to take to choose the time and the place of the appearing. But when he appears, what will we do with that which he gives? Lord, in this space tonight, Lord, we thank you that on a Wednesday night you'll move on the heart of your people. You'll arrest our hearts and you'll remind us, oh God, that your plans for us are greater than we can dare imagine. You'll roll up in the deep space and in the deep place where you are never put off by, Lord. God, you'll banish grief and you'll banish all of the guilt and all of the stuff that tries to attach itself to us, God. And you'll make a space and a place where we can recognize ourselves as beloved. Praise you. Lord. God, I thank you, Lord, that what is yet to come in this fellowship and the things that we are about to behold and see may very well have begun on a Wednesday night. It may very well have begun right now. Father, I thank you and praise you in this place right now, Lord, for what you are beginning and doing. God, the ground that you are shifting and moving, the foundations that have been laid, God, the prayers that have been offered, the things that have been done, God, those that have have, have been called into the hardest field. God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this. Yet those that are arriving and those that are coming. God, I thank you, Father, that their hearts are going to be transformed so quickly and weights and cares are going to be broke off them so quickly that, God, they're going to be expedited. The speed in which God's stuff gets ripped off and torn away and life and freedom and joy and peace, Lord, God, and healthy fruit begin to be born on their lives. God, I thank you for it. I claim that, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you and praise you for that in the name of Jesus. Tracy, Tracy, did you come? Uh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Maybe I believe you say that the doctor said he was a carrier of the genes that might be causing this problem in your heart. I will tell you, Lord, you're a carrier. You're not going to be a carrier no more. Because you're going to lay it down in Jesus' name. There you go. 
In Jesus' name, my Lord, yes. in Jesus' name, if you will not carry this burden any longer, you will be set free. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Lord Jesus and what He done on the cross for us. Oh, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, move in Him. Lord, like never before, give Him the courage and the strength, Lord, and the faith that He needs to do these things. And we give You praise for it all in Your Son, Jesus' name. For what yes, does. Lord. We call it done right now in Jesus' name. Do not carry it any longer. Lay it down and leave it at the foot of Jesus. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory, glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's no way. There's no way to thank you. Father, right now, would you Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, we pray for all of you. We specifically approach you, Father, tonight. Lord, in his name, in our lips, God, asking you, Father, you see the sickness in his body. God, you see this cancer. God, we know that there's nothing that has too much power, Lord, that you're able to do anything. So, Lord, we put our three your hands, Lord, and we do what you told us to do, which is to ask. Ask, Lord, that your power can manifest the healing in his body by your stripes, Lord. His ability to be healed, Lord, and to be made well, Lord, I pray that right now, Father. Jesus. Oh, God, I, I step even beyond that, Lord, and I pray right now, God, that the obstacles that have existed between Michael and Arthur's relationship, God, things that have been said and done, things that have happened, God, anger and frustrations and situations, God, that only you know about, that you and they know about. God, that in this moment you can heal and you can restore and you can reconcile and you can work and move. God, you can not only take the things out of Michael's heart, God, it can melt away now, Father, in a yes. moment of yes, kindness Lord. and yes. compassion and grace and mercy. Mm. That he can be made free of it, God, because that's Show a shackle that love, that's a chain. Show love. God, let him be freed right now, God, from the anger and the sense of unforgiveness. God, I pray that for freedom would flow on toward him and upon him right now, God, and that you would give him the words to speak to his father. God, this reconciliation and restoration, God, that you long for it to happen, God, that it would take place, God. Yes. Lord, I thank you and praise you right now, Father. Michael knows your voice. Lord, he's heard your voice many times throughout his life. And I pray right now, Father, that you would speak that powerfully, Lord, you would speak and move and work. God, that the things that need to be shaken and moved, God, that you would Lord, move those things out yes, of the way. Yes, Lord. And the graces that need to be added. God, the gifts that need to be given. The things, God, that need to happen, Lord, that you would let those things happen right now, Father. I thank you and praise you, Lord, that you are more than able in this situation. God, you're able to give grace and comfort and strength to his heart. Lord, you're able to gain a sense of meaning and purpose. And God, even through the pain and the suffering and the seasons, where it seemed like everything that was getting put in the ground was being ripped up and was being shredded and destroyed. And the many nights that Michael cried alone in his room, God, and he wondered why, Father, that in a moment like this, you come alongside him, God, and you remind yes, him, hey, never yes, for Lord. a moment have you ever walked away from him. Lord, you're standing, we're standing and are standing, and we'll be standing with him alongside him, God, through anything and everything, Lord, that comes his way. God, I thank you for that kind of promise. I thank you for that kind of peace that's given. Lord, I pray peace over his heart and mind. I pray, God, that there will be a peace that he hasn't had in a long time. Yes, Lord. God, I pray that there will just be a sense of your presence. Lord, we turn. God, may he tonight turn, God, from our ways and turn toward your ways. Yes. yes. Turn from the things that destroy and turn toward you, the giver of life. Turn from the things that stain and that create discord, God, and move toward the things, the Lord, that are sanctified and holy by you, God. Lord, I thank you and praise you for that right now, Father, and the work you're doing in his life, God, the things that you're saying and doing, Father. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you and praise you. Lord, I thank you and praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Watch God. Oh, there's a testimony. Watch God. Your grace and your power, Father, Lord, to what you can do, God, 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 or to the way that you can move and you can work, Lord. I thank you and praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus. Father, we war over Elizabeth and Bobby right now. God, we war over them right now in the heavenlies. Father, we speak God, life. We speak freedom, Father. God, there's some folk that are trying to get into the way, but Lord, you're going to move them out of the way, Father, so that restoration, so that safety, so that healing. God, you're going to move and work in an extraordinary way, God, and it's going to be so intricate. It's going to be so, so hard to trace necessarily, God, that we're going to be reminded, Lord, that only you could do such a thing. God, I thank you and praise you for the way you're going to do it. However you're going to do it, Lord, I thank you and praise you ahead of time, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God, we war against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world, against those spiritual wickednesses in high places that take hold of territory in people's lives and hold on. God, I pray right now that those holds would be broken. God, I pray that the spirit of deception would be broken off. God, I pray, Father, that your light that dispels darkness would shine. Reveal. God, I pray that the light would dispel yes. you, the light would dispel the darkness. Yes. yes. God, I, I war for that 15-year-old tonight who is so up in his head space. God is to the point of feeling as though everything is hopeless and there's no reason to go on. And in this moment, the craziest of thoughts, the most horrific and violent of thoughts are running through his head. But in this moment, Lord, you are intervening divinely because you know the rest of the story. God, I pray for that person right now, Lord, that you would move and work and bring clarity to their mind. I pray, God, that every spirit that is battling against them and is creating this aura of of absolute hopelessness, Lord, that you would break it off of them, even as we speak in this place right now. And Lord, that they would be made whole and free. And that at 15 years old, Lord, they would bow their knee and they would recognize their need to completely depend on you. And because of the decision made in this very moment and in this season of their lives, their life would be transformed, God. And the calling upon their life that is without repentance, Lord, that calling, God, would be embraced and would be nurtured, and God, that the things you long to do in them and through them, Lord, would be accomplished because of this very moment when you stuck your hand in the mix and you said, I will not allow that to happen. I will cause life, I will bring life where the spirit of death is hovering. Father, I thank you and praise you right now, Lord, for that 15-year-old that's being absolutely set free and given the ability to choose and turn toward you, God, and walk out. And walk in this journey, Lord. I thank you and praise you for that right now. I thank you and praise you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray tonight that you would help us step from the ankle deep water into the water that is up to our knees. God, I pray that you would give us the grace and the courage to step from the water that's to our knees, Lord, to step 
till it's above our waist. I pray, God, that you'd let us have the courage to step beyond that so that we're being swept by, out by, and up by, and out of this place by, God, the power of your living water. Yes. Yes, Lord, I pray that you would help us to say yes at every moment you bring our way in the yes, days to yes. come. Lord, yes, when yes. we get to decide whether we will go yes. deeper into the water, whether we'll trust more, whether we'll love greater, Lord, that you would help us to be willing and in that moment to hear your voice and say yes. Help us to say yes, Lord. Help us tonight to say yes to all that you want to deposit in our spirit. Oh, Lord. Everything you want to give, everything you want to pour in us, all the tenacity and grit, Lord, that you want to impart to us. Because we were seated at your table just as the disciples were seated. And there were things yet to be seen and done. Things that would come, Lord, that we could not fathom in our minds. But beforehand you warned. Beforehand you empowered. Beforehand you fed. Beforehand you clothed. God, yes. walking into that season, walking into that situation, walking into that circumstance, you had yes. already given those things needed in us, yes. through us, in those moments, God, to accomplish your purpose. Yes. Father, I thank you and praise you for that tonight. Oh, let us get it. Let us get it deep tonight. Every person under the sound of my voice, every person in this room, Lord, me at the head of the line, Lord, let us get the fullness of what you have for us tonight. Don't let us leave tonight without having received the fullness of what you have for us. Everything we thought was full, oh God, may our, our capacity be expanded. God, our, our willingness and our desire be expanded, Lord, to receive greater portions of Greater unctions, greater anointing, Lord, than we have ever dared or imagined in our own lives. Lord, I thank you and praise you. God, I pray, Father, that just as the apostles, their shadow moved across folk and folk were, were absolutely healed, transformed. Oh, God, let it happen. Why could it not happen now? Oh, let it happen now, God. In the name of Jesus, let it happen. Father, let it happen. Hallelujah. And they tarried just a little longer than they intended to be there. They stayed just a little bit longer. Father, I thank you and praise you right now, Father. I thank you right now, Lord, for the second dose, the second impartation, the second giving, the second thing that you're about to do in this space and in this place right now, Father. I thank you ahead of time for what you're about to do as a second wave, a second action that you have determined to do tonight. Father, I thank you and praise you for it. Let it happen right now. 
Sola kadara do so, sola vasita, dora vasita, dara sese. Let it happen right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it be manifest. Let it happen right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has made us uncomfortable, everything, Father, that causes us to feel icky, everything, God, that causes us to be backwards, Lord, toward you, I pray, God, that those walls would fall down. And God, our, our, our relationship and our connection with you would be so apparent and real to us. Your spirit testified with our spirit that we are your sons and daughters, that we were made for harmony and intimacy and closeness with you, that we will always be at our best when we are nestled up near you and we are listening to your heartbeat. God, we are at our best best, Lord, when we are offering ourselves in service and giving ourselves in love and when we are thanking you for those gifts and things that you've given. So, Father, right now as a second action, as a second wave, as a second thing that you desire to do, Father, either in this room or across the lines of those that are listening and watching right now, Father, I pray that you would do that, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, right now, Lord. We tarry and we stay in this place and in this moment and in this space. For a moment more than we anticipated, Lord, because we don't want to miss a thing. Because we don't want to miss, God, what you are doing and what you're saying and the way that you're moving and working. And so let the healing happen right now, Father. Let the restoration happen right now. God, let the thing that is so big, let it happen right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let life, Lord, we spoke, Lord, we speak life over little Emmy. God, we speak life over Abby and their family. Lord, we speak life, Father, in the name of Jesus. We speak life, Father, over Danny's situation. God, over Danny's dad, over Danny's brother, over Danny's son. We speak life. God, we speak life right now over Dee's mom. In the name of Jesus, we speak life. God, we speak comfort and strength and peace and power. Ola da cantora va so sola va tishi ma nasce se la cantora sa si lo so che si anda no con dolo passando e di cantashi sa manda e si va so con dolo passasse con dolo so a dele che darà va so tra di che tashi ma dolo passasse le va con dolo so tra di sa as we speak the street to cross the finish line strong over memo Lord, we speak the strength to cross the finish line strong over them all. We speak strength in each and every body, of each and every caregiver, Lord, in life. God, for them to be there in a moment and her to be here and then not to be here, Lord, to be with you, to be absent from this body, present with you. God, I thank you and praise you, God, and your grace is big for you. Lord, I pray right now for Don and Wells, Lord, even as you are preparing their hearts and their minds, God, you give them an extraordinary grace, God, as they watch this special woman, this precious woman, God, throughout their life be strong. And they've watched her, God, defy the odds, and they've watched her, Lord, have grit and tenacity and even sometimes a dose of orneriness. But God, through it all, Lord, that she stood as a lighthouse. And Lord, they've seen what it is to be tenacious and faithful. God, I pray right now, Father, that you'll give well and dawn the strength to be tenacious. Right now, Lord, the strength. God, I pray over these two tough men, Lord, whose hearts are soft and moldable and pliable. God, who love you, who love you dearly, Lord, I pray, God, that you would just love on their hearts in a special way right now. God, I pray that you would love on their hearts and minds. Da <laughs> God, for your steadfast, that a confidence be in you, God. Watch over, guard, strengthen. God, I pray over the Lord. Say, I pray over John. 
Lord, I pray that you would just you cover in your those little girls, Lord, would experience your power and presence in a profound way at an early age because of their life will always be different. Lord, I pray right now over our grandbabies, over our children, over our grandchildren. God, in some cases in this room, over our great grandchildren, Lord, we pray, Father. Lord, that they would hear your voice. God, in a profound way, Lord, that they would hear your voice and forever their life would be changed. I praise you, God. I thank you. I praise you. God, I pray over Andrew, Jamie Dallas. God, I pray over Mar and Sam. Lord, I pray over them. God, I pray right now, Father, for heaven. God, everything that gets in the way, everything that gets in his head space, everything, God, that he feels like pulls him in pieces, I pray, Father, right now, for harmony and wholeness in his heart and in his mind. God, I pray that he would return to the thing that, Lord, you have spoken to him and at times has called his name and at times has made him feel overwhelmed. I pray, Father, right now for him, Lord, to have ears to hear, oh, yes, and a heart to receive. And I pray, God, maybe for one of the first times in his life, with every ounce of his being, he will say yes, yes. emphatically, whatever the cost, yes. yes. And that he will follow you, God. I pray, Father, that you would move and touch and all the things, God, that whisper in his ear, and all the things that come against him and try to keep him, Lord, from accomplishing your work and will. I pray, Lord, you move those things out of the way. God, I pray that the legacies that have been laid out for so many of us in this room, those that have, have, have set out the pace, have laid out the mark, or that have been used by you, God, and we've heard their prayers and we've seen their witness, and because of it, God, we know what it means to be faithful and to persevere. Lord, I thank you and praise you for each and every one of them. God, I thank you for Jamie McIntyre. God, I thank you for her faithfulness and her steadfastness. God, I thank you for Coop Martin. I thank you, God, for Dewey Henson in the last days of his life, Lord, the way he transformed his life. He showed that those that enter the fields late, Lord, can receive the great reward. As those who entered early, I thank you and praise you, God, for the tenderness and the brokenness of heart, Lord, that came out of a man's heart that was so hard. I thank you, God, for the work that you could do. And the work you did, you will do. And the work you will continue to do, Father, I praise you and thank you. Hallelujah, and I pray for my friend Laner in New York. God, you see what's going on with this surgery and the complications and the problems and situations with Dina and Laner and their family facing right now. But Lord, you're a great big God. And I pray, Father, that you would just move in that room right where he's at, Father. And whatever's going on with his kidney and his body, the Lord, you would just speak life and restoration over it. God, you didn't bring him 18 years in this journey, God, to somehow leave him in the last part. Yes. Lord, you are going to move and go to work. Yes. And I pray, God, that you give Nina a, a faith and a strength and a confidence to leave and believe on you like she's never before. God, I praise you and thank you for what you're going to do out of this. And the healing and restoration of work you're going to bring to pass. The other thing you're going to do, God, put on this. Thank you for that. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, I thank you and praise you, Jesus. I thank you and praise you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah
but they're not revealing themselves. Yeah. And God's saying, let it go. Yeah. yeah. They didn't hear that right now. Yeah. That's what came out. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks, Ron. Very important. Because the Lord has done like this, we need to show Him holy. We don't need to do any work tonight after this. Mm. Don't need to move nothing. No shot. Not one thing. Yeah. Because this is not the thing you're doing. They're like, oh, that was sweet. and go do something else. We can't do that. Yeah. You know, we, we read past that word tarry a lot. And as simple as it sounds, the thought just dawned on me to tarry is to go beyond the expected duration. Yeah. It's to receive the thing that is unexpected. And, I, and quite frankly, though I expected a lot, this is beyond the expectation. It's a reminder that we're supposed to have greater expectation, that we're supposed to, to approach Him. That's our God. Sense of yeah. Our God is greater than what we expect. Yeah. Yeah. Or things going to happen. Yeah. Or, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they tarry for days, not one time. Yeah, absolutely. It's the first of the tarry. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know I'm not from okay. the nation, but in our scriptures... We were always taught that it came to pass, mm -hmm. not to stay. Mm -hmm. The reason that it was only one verse, it came to pass, is that it came to pass, which meant it carries on. Something else goes beyond that. Yeah. God carries on beyond that. Yeah. It came right. to pass. Right. Whatever you were facing, it came to pass. Yeah. And God carried on beyond that. Yeah. Beyond that verse, yeah. because there were other verses beyond that. It came to pass, not to say. Yeah. And of the angels, he says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But to the Son, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with all with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Anointed you with oil of gladness. Amen. You know, I've been, right, I'm going to be 80 in May, and I'll tell you what, I've been back and forth. I've been from one end to the other end. And chick, I was at the point where I was going to kill myself. Six and Johnny going to church. Oh. <laughs> and he dropped me in here. Yeah. And then uh, this thing that ever happened to me. And it just changed my life around again. Yeah. And this time I'm going to stay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see myself going back to the church. That's profound. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. There's no going back. There's no going back. There's no going back. That's profound. This time I'm almost there. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Well, we started out with, Lord, I need you, and our prayer to leave is, Lord, I need you. That's yeah. right. Yeah. This is the, I agree. This is the beginning. It begins. As the uh, get used to it. Get used to it. And this keeps you. Well, let's be here next week. Yeah. Let's be here next week. It keeps getting better and the better and yeah. better. I don't know what I'm going to do. I love you. Look forward to seeing those of you that can be here Saturday. Look sure. forward to seeing all of you Sunday. Thanks again for being here.